the 1920s in America, the Roaring Twenties, was a time of prosperity, a time of excitement, and a time of great progress. America emerges from the ashes of World War I more powerful than ever before to become the richest nation in the world. Prohibition, the law of the land since the beginning of the decade, is largely ignored as citizens all across the country gather in underground saloons or speakeasies for a taste of illegal hooch. Americans flock to the cinema to see their favorite movie stars, including Rudolph Valentino, Clara Bow, Charlie Chaplin, and Douglas Fairbanks. And Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig are the kings of the baseball diamond, heroes to millions nationwide. In 1928, Calvin Coolidge is president, and the average worker brings home about $24 a week. A 100-piece set of china costs just under $13, and thanks to advances in assembly line technology, a Ford Model T can be had for about $290. The 1920s also sees the birth of the consumer electronics industry, as radio, which had been introduced at the beginning of the decade, takes hold. By 1928, 40% of American households, about 10 million homes, have a radio. Also in 1928, Allied Radio is founded by Simon Cy Wexler in Chicago as the Radio Parts Distribution Division of the Columbia Radio Corporation and issues its first catalog for radio enthusiasts nationwide. Although the company sells radio components to hobbyists, its most impressive offerings are the actual radios offered. The radios in the catalog at this time are fairly high-end, with the Knight AC Symphonic 6 over 7 billed as radio's greatest value, one of Allied's more affordable non-cabinet models carrying a list price of up to $110. A number of different models are listed, including the Flournoy, the Plymouth, the Sovereign, the Canterbury, and the Senior, available in brown bronze, Chinese red, and Chinese green. According to the ad, its all-metal construction assures unusual rigidity. Perhaps even more remarkably, Allied offers experimental television apparatus in their very first catalog, placing them in the forefront of the infant field of television technology. They note, television in its present stage being an undeveloped art, we display television apparatus here and offer it for experimental purposes only. We do not advocate its use, nor do we offer television material under any guarantee whatsoever. And so the Allied story begins, the start of an 85-year legacy of progress and innovation.